Hey Loco sports fans and WHHI viewers, another week of summer has flown by, don't shoot the messenger, and that means it's time for the Loco Weekend Wraparound on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. We teased you on Thursdays last night in the Loco with a local golfer trying to help a group of nine South Carolina juniors to bring the Watson Cup home from Scotland, and we're pleased to report that Buford's Jerry Bruns and the rest of the Palmetto State crew got the job done. The Watson Cup was set up to commemorate the link between Scotland and the Carolinas that ostensibly led to the game of golf being introduced to the colonies. The event was first played in 2018 at Kiowa Island when the local squad kept the cup at home and the reciprocal match in Scotland was slated for 2020 before, well, you know. But it's back on now and Bruns was among the nine players representing the Palmetto State against a team from the East Lothian Junior Golf League from the Edinburgh area. Bruns got off to a terrific start in the four ball matches at Royal Burgess on Tuesday teaming with Luke Walmut to win all three points, and he teamed with Birch Harrison to have a point on Wednesday and have the point in his singles match Thursday to help the Americans secure a 27-24 victory that went to the last hole of the last match. The South Carolina crew was also paid a visit by U.S. Open champion and Palmetto State native Lucas Glover and had the chance to meet some Golf Channel celebrities with the world's eyes on the Scottish Open this week. Congrats to Jerry and the crew for keeping the cup in Carolina. One of Bruns' classmates at Buford High School is on to the next step in his recovery and rehabilitation after a tragic accident left him without the use of his legs and a huge crowd of supporters showed up to send him off Thursday morning in Charleston. Dozens of friends, family, and supporters lined up outside MUSC to wish Anderson Jones well as he departed for the Shepherd Center in Atlanta for a lengthy rehabilitation process. Jones fell three stories from a construction site on Fripp Island on June 26th, leaving him with severe injuries, including numerous skull fractures and a severed spinal cord. After a long back surgery, he regained his mental function and use of his upper body, but has a long road to recovery if he wants to get back on his feet, let alone back to the Anderson Jones we came to know on the basketball court, soccer pitch, and track. And we're sorry we won't get to see what he could do on the football field this fall. If you'd like to support Anderson and the Jones family on the journey ahead, you can find links to do so in a number of ways at locosports.com. And finally, it's time to turn our attention back to the boys of summer because the Dixie Boys and Junior Boys State Championships get underway Saturday at Oscar Frazier Park in Bluffton, and three other Hilton Head All-Star teams are headed to state. Locosports.com's Wes Kerr gives us a look at the teams heading to the state tournament to try to bring a title back to the Loco. It's been a special summer so far for youth baseball on Hilton and Island, and it's only just getting started. For the first time since 2010, all four Hilton Head Baseball Association All-Star teams captured district titles. We'll be playing the state tournament starting this weekend. On Tuesday, the quartet of squads made its final preparations and smiled for the camera. Dixie Boys 14 youth coach Ryan Kelly knows what it takes to earn success in the baseball diamond. The former major leader with the Atlanta Braves is now back in his hometown, looking to help a new generation of players follow their dreams. His squad is one of four from the island who will compete at the state level this month for a spot in the World Series. After tearing up the district competition at Crossings Park, the 10U Miners squad is prepared and confident heading into Dillon next week. Hilton Head's 8U coach pitch team will get started this weekend over in Anderson, while the 12U Ozone squad will look to defend its state title starting next Friday in Union. And the 14U Dixie boys will compete right here in the Loco, taking on Andrews at 10 a.m. Saturday. Coach Kelly's advice to his team hanging in the simple, have fun. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Wes Kerr. Thanks, Wes. Can't wait to see those Beaufort County All-Stars in action coming up this weekend. For WHHI and Loco Sports, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco.